What's going on guys, Andrew Pilikaki here back with another video and today we're going to be looking at some of the best contracts in the NHL. Now Sportsnet put up a video and it was really cool and I was already doing some research for this so there will be a part two of this video where I look at more really good contracts in the NHL but I wanted to discuss some of the best contracts in the NHL that Sportsnet brought up. So we're going to be going through it together. Um, I'll have a graphic for you guys to see on the screen so we can go through all these players and kind of have a discussion. I'm sure most of you won't uh, disagree with the, the people on the list because there's so many great players here. These are some of the best contracts in the league. Now what I want to mention to you guys is with all of the new contracts being signed, you know, within the next month or so because there might be some extensions coming up. We've seen the Nylander one this season, some that are coming up this summer. You guys are going to say, look at all these guys, look how cheap they signed. But like I mentioned in my last video, a lot of players look at when the cap goes up and they look for more cap percentage, it means that their dollar amount is going to go up. With the times moving on and the cap going up, players look for more money. So like I mentioned in the last video when we were bringing up the fact that Matthews may demand more money than McDavid, well, that could have to do with cap percentage because... When McDavid signed, the cap was $7 million less than what it's projected to be when Matthews signs. So the cap just keeps going up. Players look for more of a percentage. So these contracts look even better when you see some of the deals that are being signed today. And of course, some of these guys have a good deal and then they got even better and it makes the contract look ridiculously good. So let's go through them. We'll start off with the forwards. Now, uh, obviously you guys can see right away, this is a list that is full of a lot of really good players. And... There's no big surprise that any of these guys are on this list because these are all great contracts. Starting off with Nathan McKinnon, it's a great way to start off. His cap is $6.3 million signed through the 2022-23 season. So he's got a lot of term left and that cap hit is just amazing. He's an MVP candidate type of player, puts up a lot of points, he's a leader and he's a great player for the Colorado Avalanche. I wanted to toss that jersey up there, show you guys some of my jerseys here. I'm trying to collect a jersey from every team, which would be really cool so I can put it in more videos. And this won't always be my backdrop either. I wanna try to set it up a little better. But uh, Nathan McKinnon, very good contract. Like I mentioned, puts up a lot of points and definitely is one of the best contracts in the league. Johnny Gaudreau on the Calgary Flames, who I will be making more videos uh, about very soon, about maybe another goaltending video. I know we did that uh, about a month ago or so. And I wanted to talk about it again, but Johnny Gaudreau, $6.75 million cap hit. Uh, we know his contract went right down to the wire, and I believe he was right before the season started when he signed uh, a couple of years ago. And he signed uh, through to the 2021-22 season. So again, lots of term, a very respectable cap hit. He puts up a lot of points. And a lot of players that put up these amount of points now are getting paid way more money. So again, a very good deal. Next up, David Pasternak, $6.67 million against the cap, signed through to the 2022-23 season. Pasternak is a goal machine. He's on one of the best lines, if not the best line in hockey. That's up to you whether or not you like that line. I'm a big fan of the Marshan um, Pasternak Berger online. They've got a mix of two way playing, a lot of grit, and goal scoring. And Pasternak. He just scores like crazy. He's a guy that could lead, uh, lead the league in scoring at some point. And I think that he's just going to prove that this contract gets better and better as the days go on. Mark Shifley, again, a, a big centerman, a guy that just plays big minutes. He's, he's a really good a hockey player. We all know Shifley is an incredible hockey player. The Jets are a great team. And without Shifley, they might take a little bit of a hit because I think that he's an underrated player in the league. $6.125 million cap hit. And he's signed through to the 2023-24 season. This is a very good deal. Shifley is a guy that if he was hitting the open market would demand quite a lot of money. And the Winnipeg Jets got him for a steal. Next up is Brad Marchand. Now a lot of people may not like him, but he does put up a lot of points and he adds to teams. When you enter the playoffs where the rules kind of slip away a little bit, Brad Marchand is a guy that can get away with quite a lot and is a gritty guy. He gets in your head. And let's be real here, my favorite team is the Toronto Maple Leafs, but guess what? Marchand gets in fans' heads, but he also gets in the players' heads. It works. And he's on a contract, $6.125 million, just like Shifley, signed through to the 2024-25 season. So, and we've talked about it before, that Bergeron is also on a really good contract, but you literally have one of the best lines, if not the best line in hockey, signed to all amazing deals. Like, how do you get that? That's a steal. That's an absolute steal. The Boston Bruins are 
in great a great situation to have three great players like that where if they needed to you know bring in some of their young guys which they have like DeBrusque and you know if they had to rid of some of their other cap hits they're not going to take a huge bump in the standings because because they have three of the best players in the league on one line under good deals and Marchant he puts a lot puts a lot of points up and I think that this is a great deal um, Alexander Barkov is also on this list 5.9 million dollar cap hit signed through the 2021-22 season this guy is a great two-way player he's going to be a guy that takes over the award ceremony very soon and you know that selkie trophy he's just unreal like we're talking about a guy that can do it all he puts up a lot of points and like i said he's a two-way type of player and i think that the panthers have a, a very good player in barkov we all know that and that's a, a an insane deal under six million dollars Next up is Taylor Hall, a guy that the Oilers could use. And man, they wish they didn't make that trade. $6 million cap hit signed through the 2019-20 season. So uh, this contract is coming up pretty soon, but still, the Devils have gotten quite a lot out of Hall, and I'm sure he would like to stay there for years to come. Now, he was he's an MVP player. We do know that now. Well, not every year, but, you know, he could be that. We don't know. He, he already was last season, and he's playing good for the Devils again this year. Sorry for the noise. There are people here, but... Um, Taylor Hall's a great player. He puts up a lot of points. Another great guy in the locker room. And this is just a steal for the Devils. All right, next up, we're going to talk about the defensemen and goaltenders. So first up is Morgan Riley, the guy right back there. And, of course, I tried to add some jerseys of players I was talking about, like Goudreau, Riley, of course, and McKinnon. But uh, Morgan Riley is first on here for the defenseman. $5 million cap hit, signed through the 2021-22 season. We've seen Riley put up an insane amount of points this year and take another step in his career. His skating ability is one of the best for the blue line in the entire league, and he's proven that he's a guy that can lead a team. A lot of people have suggested he he should be a captain, Captain Morgan, of course. Uh, I'm a guy that thought he would have already been captain, but I think Matthews is the guy that's going to take over this team and be the captain. And I respect that, but Morgan Riley has shown that he can take that next step. He's putting up points. He's pretty good in his own end. He could he could be better, let's be real here. But the the way that he plays the game, this contract is insanely good. Next is Roman Yossi, a $4 million cap hit, signed through the 2019-20 season. We've seen Yossi be a value contract for years now. He's a great defenseman. The um, Nashville Predators have one of the best blue lines in the league. Yossi is one of the guys that proves every night that he can get it done. Um, I know, I think he's had some injury trouble, but again, at $4 million, that cap hit is almost nothing, if you think about it. Defensemen are demanding a ton of money nowadays, and a guy like Yossi, once he hits that open market, if Nashville doesn't hold on to him uh, in a couple of years, or uh, actually, yeah, it's, it's in like a, yeah, a year or so away from him being a free agent. You know, he's, he could go to the open market and get a ton of money. So we'll have to see where that goes. Seth Jones is up next with a $5.4 million contract signed through the 2021-22 season. Of course, you know, the Johansson uh, for Jones deal was one of the biggest deals that we've seen in a while. A forward for defenseman swap. It's worked for both sides, in my opinion. Jones, a big right-handed shot. He can get it done. He can be physical. And $5.4 million, would, he would definitely get a lot more money in the open market right-handed tough type of player you know he's not the toughest but uh, he can get it done in his own end and put up points he would definitely be demanding quite a bit of money so this is a great deal next is john klingberg a guy that's been good for dallas for a couple years now he's got a 4.25 million dollar cap hit signed through to the 2021-22 season so we've seen klingberg's value go up He's a really good defenseman. That deal at $4.25 million, another steal. These are all steals, and this is just getting sweeter. Dallas has got a guy that can put up points. He's a horse for them. He's a very good guy for Dallas to have at that price. So, again, that's the defenseman. Moving on to the goaltending. Two goalies that just win games on two of the best teams in the league. Freddie Anderson at a $5 million cap hit signed through to the 2020-21 season. In my opinion, he just keeps getting better. He's a guy that can compete for a Vesna with the next goaltender that we're going to talk about. Of course, you can see him, Andre Vasilevsky. 
Both these goaltenders just win games. We've seen Anderson steal games for the Leafs. He's going to be great for them once he returns from injury. It depends on when you're watching this video, but currently he's still injured. And of course, Vasilevsky, $3.5 million cap hit is an absolute steal larceny absolutely crazy signed through the 2019-20 season i'd imagine tampa is going to make sure that contract gets extended very soon 3.5 million dollars for vasilevsky that's insane we see goaltenders getting paid crazy amounts of money and vasilevsky is just a stellar goaltender both these goalies have great cap hits the forwards defensemen everybody on here has great cap hits let me know what you guys think. There will be a part two with more of these. i just seen Sportsnet do this, and I thought, okay, let's just get these big names out of the way because there are more that I've kind of put together and some that I'm still doing research on that will be in a part two. So I didn't want to um, exclude these contracts because, of course, they are some of the best in the league. So let me know what you guys think about this video. If you're new, make sure you subscribe. Love to have more hockey conversations with you. Join the squad. Let's get to 4,000 subscribers. We're very close. I think we're just over 30 away or just under 30 away. Yeah, it should be just under, so uh, around 26 or 27. So make sure to click subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next video or stream. Peace.